congregation. He is a dynamic missionary with a deep concern for the poor and the marginalized. He takes forward the vision and mission of our founder, Brother Paulus Morris, as his successor. He is a source of inspiration to all the members of the congregation. Dear Brother Jose Valera, on behalf of the Franciscan family, I warmly and affectionately welcome you. Our chief guest for this evening function is Right Reverend Dr. Francis Callist, Bishop of Diocese of Miret. We are indeed privileged to have his lordship in our midst. Before becoming the bishop, his lordship rendered his service to the Diocese of Miret in various capacities and also served as the rector of the Philosophate of North Region in Agra. He is a versatile personality, he is a good orator, and a sought-after retreat preacher. His simplicity and cordiality brings people close to him. On this joyous occasion, the management cordially acknowledges the immense support and guidance of the Diocese of Miret to our institution. Your Lordship, we are extremely happy, honored, and blessed to have you with us. On behalf of the management, teachers, parents, and students, I extend to you a hearty welcome. Today, very Reverend Dr. Brother Lawrence Abraham CMSF, the Provincial Superior of St. Joseph Province, Delhi, is with us as the guest of honor. He also serves as the chairman of the society and the education institutions of the province in North India. He pursued his postgraduate and doctoral studies in the University of Berkeley, California, USA. He served the congregation in various capacities as provincial counselor, provincial secretary, and registrar of the Vidyadeep College, Bangalore. He is also an executive member of the Indian Theological Association and national vice president of the Conference of Religious India, CRI, and president of National CRI Pradesh Section. He is a source of inspiration to all the members of this province. Dear brother, Dr. Lawrence, on behalf of the Franciscan family, I cordially welcome you. We all heartedly welcome Sri Vincent Pilif, the founder and the first director of St. Francis School. We also welcome the formal principal Sister Georgina FSLG. Sister Molly FSLG. We are blessed with the presence of priests, religious, heads of institution, heads of educational institutions and principals, our esteemed guests, Police officials, media persons, we extend a warm welcome to all of you. We have with us our beloved parents. We cannot forget the immense support they have been rendering for the last 10 years. Dear parents, without you, these celebrations would not have been possible. Heartfelt welcome to one and all. I gratefully acknowledge the hard work and dedication of the principal, headmistress, teaching, and non-teaching staff 
All of them are with us to participate in the joy of this occasion. Hearty welcome to all of you. I cordially welcome Sri George Pulingala, who directed the music drama around the world in 80 days, and his team members who trained our students. We believe that school is not simply a structure with bricks and mortar. In fact, the students and the pursuit of their dreams and excellence give life to the academic atmosphere of the school. I welcome all the students to this program. Once again, I welcome all of you to San Francisco School for the 10th anniversary day celebration and have a fruitful and enjoyable evening. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, brother. That was a very warm welcome by our director on behalf of the entire school. Singing elevates the soul and dancing synchronizes the body and mind. We welcome each one of you once again, but this time through song and dance. The students of classes two and three will now express this heartfelt welcome with music and rhythm.
Those who are the twinkle toes of our junior section, welcoming every one of you with their mesmerizing performance. Bhumir apo anilo vayu kam mano buddhi revicha ahankara idi yamme binna prakriti ashtidha said Lord Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita. Translation, my existence is eightfold, like earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intellect, and ego. Prithvi, earth, apas, water, vayu, air, tejas, fire, akash, sky. The gifts of nature, pure in themselves. Panchabhuta, the five elements. Panchabhuta is a Sanskrit term meaning five elements, where pancha means five and bhuta is elements. Life on earth depends on these five elements. The universe manifests through these five elements, the great cosmic energies. A whole cosmic quest of the world and beyond starts from the point of Panchabhuta, which then manifests in an enjoined manner to form the life force. They are the reality of life, and they must be a part of every aspect of our life, creation, protection, destruction, disappearance, and appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, the students of classes four and five present before you a finely crafted synergy of dance, music, and words. Panchabhutam. Earth, Prithvi, is the densest element and is the mother that sustains and nurtures life. She symbolizes stability, fertility, and endurance. She is reliable, peaceful, and tranquil. Life in the form of plants and animals thrive here in abundance, bringing beauty and joy. It is this joy that makes the planet a haven for celebration. She is the strengthening foundation of our race.